Hi, this is Kelly from I Bring It Every Day, and let's visit the King of Prussia Mall. Hey, this is Kelly. Just um, going to one of my favorite malls. I used to live near here, and um, it's very fancy, just to warn you. Nordstrom is one of my favorite stores there. And Nordstrom's great because they have many, many shoes. And I only took one side of the floor. Um, the floor all goes back to where those white windows, way in the back. So there's shoes all the way to the left in that picture. But um, because it's summertime, I noticed these crochet shoes. And I'm pretty sure they're crochet and not machine done. They look pretty good. So just enjoy the colors and the inspiration. The next place that I saw some good color was Lily Pulitzer. If you're not familiar with what that store is, they do cruise wear. And they're actually based out of King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. And um, so they have a beautiful windows, and I just love the colors. I'm not a cruiser, but I, I do appreciate people who do. And it's kind of interesting to see what color combinations they come up with. You know, they're, they're, the prints are pretty loud, which I don't mind. I like it, actually. So the next store is called Shades of Africa. Um, it's somebody who came over to the States and they imported a lot of stuff. So I got a mirror from them about, mm, I'm not even going to tell you how many years ago. But these are just, like I said, I was just kind of looking at color. And I just like these little stuffed animals. They were kind of cute. But here's Shades of Africa again. Just another view. Now this store here, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, but I went to this store first when I was in Oahu. And um, just was uh, enjoying the pearls. And they are extra large. It's amazing. So I just uh, really appreciate all the different colors. So this mall is full of designers. And I'm just going to flash you all the ones that you can see here. So like I said, I don't go in these stores personally. But I just sort of look through the window and uh, enjoy the colors. So this is Burberry, and they have their print beside their store and on the front of their store. And uh, just found it interesting to look at it through the windows. These are some bags in one of the, one, in one of the windows. Here's David Yerman. This is jewelry. I did not go in. But just like looking through the window. Here's Gucci. I've been to the store in Beverly Hills uh, a few times. I have not been to this store, but I'm not a slave to fashion, so... You probably won't see me in there. But they have nice bags. And apparently they have a collab with Adidas. So I didn't know that. So that was kind of interesting to see. Now this one is Hermes. And like I said, I'm just sort of looking through the window. I didn't go in. This is Cartier. They have watches and all kinds of jewelry. But I just like their out their exterior of the store. Here's Neiman Marcus kind of in the background. That's one of my favorite stores. I just like to look in there. They have interesting clothing and shoes too. Now this is uh, Christian Louboutin with the red bottom shoes. I don't wear those. Fendi. But I like this outfit the model's wearing. It's pretty uh, cute. Bulgari. Jimmy Choo. This girl was nice and waited for me. I should have cut her out, but she was nice. <laughs> Salvador Ferragamo, nice shoes. 
My mom used to like those. A little pricey. This is MCM. I forget what that stands for. Here's Carolina Herrera. Like her name. Awesome. That's a great name. Yves Saint Laurent. You see how they have a, there's like a velvet rope in the front, which I think is hilarious. But fancy. Now this is La Crusette. These are the fancy uh, cast iron pans, Dutch ovens, all that stuff. Now here's Gap. This is, I don't know why I put this in here, but there it is. Well, I like the picture of that little boy, that's why. He's kind of making a smirk, so I thought that was funny. And here's Bloomingdale's. Not so fancy. Now, I like this window. They had three sections. I think it's Anthropology and Company. But that was the first section. And this is the second. And I like those hanging lights and plants. I think that's what those are with the gold. And it said free people on the other side. So that was kind of interesting. Now, here's my, one of my favorite stores, if I could uh, muster it, is Ethan Allen. And I like them because it's actually real furniture. And uh, made out of wood, no particle board. And the nice thing that comes with their expensive price tags is they actually do the designing for you. So they come to your place and they measure everything and... They take you through swatches and the whole thing. So it's really good customer service. But when you buy the furniture, you know it's going to fit. And all the colors are going to match, etc. And I know people that have purchased it, not me. <laughs> so I'm pretty familiar with it, but I've never done it. So if you can afford it, it's well worth it, I think. I mean, look at these rooms. Now, this is a little bland for my taste, but it's very pretty. It's very light. It looks cozy. But that's amazing. I would never put any of this together in my mind, but it's nice. And that mirror is pretty amazing in the back. So here's another shot of Bloomingdale's. And this was, I did this around Father's Day, so you're going to see a lot of men in the uh, picture, you know, in, in the windows. So that's a nice plant. So here's Brooks Brothers. I had dreams of getting a Brooks Brothers suit. They actually make it to your body if you want them to. Which is kind of cool. But I never did it. <laughs> but now that I'm not in an office, it's kind of pointless. But they do have some other stuff off the rack. But their suits are amazing if you can afford it. But this is their like casual stuff. But look at that suit. Fits that man really great. So, all right, here's Tiffany's. Here's Audrey Hepburn, chilling. If you remember breakfast at Tiffany's. So that's their fragrance. I'm not a big fragrance person, but they do have a fragrance. But here's a laughable thing. Um, so if you guys can guess the prices of these two things from Tiffany's, let me know. So this is a citrine and diamond pendant. I forget how many carats that is, but you see it's big. <laughs> So, if you guess the price, and uh, we'll see. Uh, and then these earrings, I really like both of them. I like the white diamonds, though. But, see if you can guess the price. And then this is some of the later Tiffany stuff that they do. It's these, um, it's like uh, Vanity, where it has Tiffany stamped on it. It kind of screams Tiffany. <clears throat> but anyway, at the end of this video, see if you can guess the price of that citrine uh, pendant and... Those diamond earrings from Tiffany's. I like to see how close people come without without Googling. So anyway, here's the Apple Store. So they have a nice big Apple Store, and it's always packed. Most places it is. I, I, I've been in Apple Stores in many cities, and it's always crazy. Now here's Tesla. Um, they opened a little store in the mall a few years back, and they used to have um, cars inside that you could sit in, but this one had no cars, so I'm very sad. 
but they did they did put in uh, the charging stations in the mall so now you can charge your car while you're waiting so here's uh, my husband's one of his favorite stores he likes the Lego so I'm gonna walk you through the Lego store and this is when you first get in the door I don't I forget what this is <laughs> but this big Lego thing and then you can actually spin a wheel and make one of these things with these free Legos of course there were Legos all over the floor which was terrible but anyway um, here's Star Wars my husband likes that and then this is the one I like which is the uh, VW camper so once again we're back to Neiman Marcus uh, they just have cool stuff in there their shoes are pretty good too and then here's Kate Spade I was just thinking about her ironically um, so but I like the the windows and the little stuff that she has on the side there with the colors uh, but anyway yeah I was just thinking about Kate Spade and then I said man she has a huge store now here's um, some of the watches so here's Rolex I just like the green that's what caught my attention and the animals like stingray and turtle yeah and here's Omega watches there's just a lot of watches and they have so many brands in here the fancy ones for sure Let's see Nicole Kidman and uh, Kravitz and then Breitling and then Tag Hauer is kind of in front of that one so very expensive watches it was Father's Day but anyway that's my little trip through the King of Prussia Mall I hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe and I appreciate you all for watching have a good day goodbye